Hey guys, it's C from Earthborn, and this is my review of the Ultra Spire Speed Goat 3.0. Now, this belt showed up for me today, turned up on my doorstep, and like a kid of Christmas, I filled up the bottles, strapped it on, and went straight out the door. I got myself a, a lazy 10 miles through the swamps here in Florida. It's a very hot day, but all of that aside, First and foremost, what is it about a fuel belt that really appeals to me over, say, a vest? Well, there's a couple of things. The further I run, and having started with, you know, running long distance, getting into marathon, ultra marathon, and now expedition length running, the thing that I really don't like about vests is all of the weight is up here. Like, it doesn't matter which vest it is. You've got your bottles, like, heavy water right here. The heaviest part of the vest is right here on your shoulders. Now, it's not gonna be perceptible, right? But what is gonna happen is you're gonna notice that over time you're gonna start fatiguing faster by wearing a vest where you're carrying the weight up here because you're constantly adjusting for that higher load. When you bring the load down to the fulcrum of your body, which is essentially your hips, that's the point that stands still and everything hinges from there. When you strap the load onto that, that point that everything rotates around, all, all automatically you're gonna get so much more out of your running. So that's that's one of the primary things that appeals to me of you know with wearing a belt as opposed to a vest. The further I go, the more experienced I become as a runner. The other thing I don't like about a vest is you're wearing shit that is blocking the flow of air. Like down here, when you're running, like it's 90, 95, 100, 110. Like, you don't want that airflow blocked by fucking anything. So you literally are cutting yourself off from that airflow and you're getting yourself caught with, you know, this webbing up around crucial areas that need airflow to, to keep your core cooler. So vests, yes, they have their place. Yes, they help you carry bigger loads over longer distances. But if we're talking anything on any circuit that has aid stations, anywhere between 10 and 20 miles apart, a fuel belt is going to do it if it's the right fuel belt. Now, what do I absolutely love about the Speed Goat? For starters, I love its shape. I love its design, right? Everything about the way this shape is, it's just, it's ergonomic as fuck. They even call it, um, where are we? An ergo fit waist harness, right? So I think the marketing guys from Ultra Spire will tell you that the way the bottles sit is two thirds below, one third above. And these bottles, they hang nicely on your butt cheeks, which feels really comfortable. Now, I, I really love the way that the bottles are mounted in their cradle. Like I was unsure when I saw this on the internet, what it actually looks like. Is this like a strap over the shoulder? Does it, no, it's, well, it kind of is, but basically the bottle will slide off to the side and come out but it won't do it unless you want it to. It's in there pretty damn tight. And, and these mounting points, they're solid, so they're not gonna collapse on you and then you're there bucking around trying to get your bottle back in while you're halfway through a run and you're tired and you don't wanna waste energy doing unnecessary shit and you end up throwing your bottle on the ground in a temper tantrum and then fall on the ground and cry for 10 minutes before you get up and keep running. I'm not saying that's ever happened to me, but it can happen. So these hold their shape, it's like almost like a memory foam. It's really, really cool. In and out, very easy. I love that. It's also got this pouch in the middle. Now, it's an odd kind of pouch based on the shape. Like, you don't think you're gonna get anything super significant in there, but you will get gels in there. You will probably get a very small, very tight, shell if you are inclined to running in shells when it's raining I'm not you know if it's raining I'm not wearing a shell because of the fact that I'm going to be just as wet from my own sweat inside the shell within about 10 minutes so I don't bother with that kind of thing um, what else what else do I absolutely love about this the front pouch it's not contained in the top or it's elastic now I'll get to that when I'm talking about the things I didn't so much like about it. That makes it easy to get stuff in and out of that and it's super, super wide. So I'm recording on my phone at the moment but there's my case, right? My phone fit in there perfectly. Now one of the things that I loved about the design of this belt is that this material here 
seems to be waterproof. So that means that your sweat, because your skin is directly against this, isn't getting all over your electronics. Well thought out. I didn't get a chance to take or make use of the straps. These, uh, these Oki straps, these elastic straps, you can roll up a, you know, you can roll up your, your coat if you're gonna take a coat, if you're gonna wear a shell at any point. You can put your trekking poles in there and cinch it down. So it's really cool for that. So all in all, the thing that I, I really love about this belt is that it truly is a belt that is going to do the distance. It's gonna do the miles for you. And it does it really comfortably, like it sits comfortable. Now let's talk about the stuff I'm not so stoked about. Now, when I say this, this belt is like 90% perfect. That's a really high rating in my books because the fact of the matter is nothing comes out of the factory with 100% perfection. Reason being is because everybody's different, everybody has different requirements, everybody's body is different. What works for the speed goat himself isn't necessarily gonna work for me. So shit comes out of the warehouse or the factory after they've made it, it's like 90%, you know, that's the highest rating I would give something. There's always stuff that needs to be customized or modified for personal use. This is no exception. Now this is probably one of the closest to perfect pieces of equipment I have gotten. But there are a couple of things I didn't like about it. First and foremost, it has these gel holders on the side of the bottles. That is if you are using that front pouch for your device, your phone or whatever, and you don't want to run the risk of rupturing a gel all over your phone, which can happen, then you put them in this. Now, when I saw this in the ad, I was thinking, oh, cool, because they don't really give you an up close look at it. But what I was thinking was, cool, I could fit a couple of gels in each side and we're good. You probably could, but you're running the risk of rupturing your gels if you do that. So I was hard pressed getting one of each of my gels in each side. Now I use Science in Sport and they are a larger gel packet, you know, because there's a lot of fluid in them. Um, if you have smaller gel packets, you're probably gonna be in better shape. But that was the first thing. This pouch in the back, like I said, it's an odd shape. There's probably not a great deal of things that you can you know, take advantage of that. It is stretchy, so you may get you know, some energy bars or you, know, you might get a package of jelly beans or nuts or whatever your, whatever your, your flavor is, you know, like a handful of chips, like a package of chips that you've opened and poured half of them on the ground and scrunched the rest up and broken them and crushed them, and then you put that in there, that might work too. Um, but there's not a great deal that's going in that rear pouch. It's, it's kind of like something that got put in there to take up the space without really thinking about what am I gonna to need to use that for. I think potentially what could have been done better is um, a series of eyelets with elastic, you know, uh, like this type of thing, this Oki strap material they have on the front, and then you could put something in there and cinch it, and, and that probably would have worked better. Um, the other thing that I don't like about this vest straight out of uh, this belt sorry straight out of the factory is the way that like yes i love the clip that is cool as shit I, I love the clip that is an amazing clipping system and then like the way that the belt sits all around is amazing this stuff here like you can see that see-through right this is designed to increase breathability of the belt the problem is, as you're pulling it through this buckle system, what you're gonna get is a lot of slippage. Now, I'm noticing that there is like an extra eyelet there, but I'm having a hard time putting that back through there. So, I, I, yeah, I just, I, I don't know, like, I'm sure eventually it's gonna go in if I keep trying to coax it, there we go. It's clearly not designed that way. Um, you can see what it does, it kind of, so I, I don't think that that's what that, that extra hole on, on the buckle, on, on like the, the tightening triglide is for. Um, the thing I noticed when I was running is I was constantly pulling this belt tighter and that, you know, to me, that is almost a deal breaker on a belt. I'll fuck with that later. That's almost a deal breaker on a belt. 
there's a couple of things that I would potentially like to see. So what they've done is they've included this tiny little stow pouch so that when this is pulled tight, you roll it back and put it in there. But because of the nature of this material, I'm imagining that's what it is. It's just constantly just jiggling a little bit loose, a little bit loose, a little bit loose. Now, I'm not sure what the manufacturer says about how this is meant to sit. Um, it doesn't need to be done up too tight. I'm a guy that likes my shit tight. Like I like my gear tight. I don't like my gear so that it's moving when I'm running. Like the bottles, the bottles are bomb proof. They do not move in their cradle. And that is perfect when there's half a bottle of water and it's sloshing, the bottle's not moving because of that. But the belt itself is kind of loosening a little bit and it's starting to get this little bit of slide around my waist and it's starting to get a little bit of up and down movement. And it's something that I'm not really a big fan of. So what would I do about that? Um, if I ever get this back out of here, I can show you what my thoughts were. So what I was thinking is that you could very possibly, get out of there. Yeah, that's clearly not made for that. So what you could very possibly do is when you've pulled them really tight, you could lay them over the front with like a tri-glide, put a tri-glide on that side and then run this through the tri-glide and then it will hold it where it's meant to be so that it just doesn't have the capacity to cinch back on itself and loosen the belt. There's a couple of options, but bear in mind that if you buy this belt, you are going to be looking for a solution. Now, as the bottles start to drain over the distance, it's less of an issue. It's only when you've got the weight and it's probably due to the fact that you have 600 milliliters of water in each bottle. So you've got 1.2 liters of, of water on this belt, which is great. Like it's gonna get you the distance you want, but that's up there. That's, it's like 1.2 kilograms that you're carrying for those of you that use the metric system. Um, so it's something to keep in mind. It's 90% perfect. It's a great alternative to a vest. I'm gonna do a couple of small things to it to make it 100% perfect for me. And that will keep it tight, that will keep it locked down, will keep it in place where I want it to be. So all I have to do is just run because that's all I wanna focus on. I don't wanna focus on trying to get my bottles back in their cradle. I don't wanna focus on constantly cinching my belt every three minutes. I don't wanna focus on, you know, whether it's the Spice Girls playing in my ears or Led Zeppelin or, you know, I just want to fucking run. And I'm sure you're the same. So that's what we're doing here. 90% perfect, 10%, you can take care of that. Get the belt set up the way you want it to, you're golden. Highly recommended piece of kit. And I'm excited for my first ultra in this.